Okay, uh, we, we've got a, a, a new team in the mix here. And now, why would the Los Angeles Rams be a new team in the mix well. when they were the NFC West champions? Why would, we, why would I term the L.A. Rams as a new team in the mix when they had the biggest, well, at least the first, and then what I think turned out to be and what can turn out to be biggest offseason acquisition in, in Matthew Stafford? Yeah, why would you say that, Rich? Uh, because this team, as it won last night and showed up last night, you could say is playing the best football they've played all year long. Now, why would I say that when Robert Woods is inactive on the team and he's one of their best players? You take a look at the Los Angeles Rams team that destroyed, dismantled, um the Arizona Cardinals last night Beat down. The, and and they're playing in their in their best possible way right now by by running the football this is this is the same way that I w- I've been calling the Saints the last few years certainly in Drew Brees' final years in New Orleans and uh, a defensive team and offensive guru clothing because we always talk about Sean Payton and Drew Brees' relationship, but really what what was the engine in so many ways of the Saints' success in the last several years is their defense, and we saw it again in shutting out Tom Brady earlier this year. We always talk about Sean McVay and the high-flying Rams offense, and that was certainly born out of uh, that huge Monday night game that supposedly broke defense in the NFL, right, between the Chiefs and the Rams in in the Coliseum, interestingly enough, sealed by a defensive play on that night. We always talk about that. This is a run-first team. This is a team that wants to run it down your throat. This is a team that wants to control the game through their run game, and the passing game is opened up from the run game and also the way that they put their offense on the field and their formations and their sets that you don't know if it's going to be a run or a pass out of that set and here comes the run and hits you in the mouth. And then when you think they're going to run it again, no, their quarterback still has it and cups wide open, or now Odell Beckham Jr. Right. And they're running the football. Their run game, the L.A. Rams run game right now, is the best that it has been all year long. All year long. This kid, Cam Akers, that ripped up his Achilles in the summer – is back full strength right now, guys and ladies and gents. He's back, and he is really good. That's why I didn't want to talk about him during the summer before he tore his Achilles because I wanted to get him (laughs) in every fantasy team out there. He's really, really good. He's fast. He's sneaky. He can break tackles. He's strong. He can catch out of the backfield, even though there was one that was thrown to him by Stafford yesterday that he – didn't see until too late, but he did have a big one thrown to him by Odell Beckham Jr. Sony Michelle started the game. He started it, and he had a great run himself to start the game. That's the good stuff here. And now the Rams on defense have got Von Miller with Aaron Donald and Leonard Floyd and Jalen Ramsey, and now Eric Weddle, and so much about the safety situation for the Rams this week and who was healthy and who was not and Eric Weddle hadn't played in two years and now they got to use him so what when that front end is doing its business and they were everywhere last night and this Rams team as constituted is a problem is a problem because they can run it down your throat if they can do that successfully it opens everything else up and defensively they can get you out of your game. What a win last night. And Les Snead, Mr. Uh, Church Bells <laughs> himself. Um, the moves that he made, go get Odell Beckham Jr. Well, Odell with his first career touchdown reception in the playoffs. Man, he looked good. And Odell Beckham Jr. wide open on so many of his other routes. And Odell Beckham Jr. throwing it down the field. Suddenly, he's now... You know, a jack of all trades, which is not what he's been known as. He's been known as that game wrecker who can grab a football with one tip of a finger. And so 
he's performing well. And Von Miller, five first half tackles, including a sack and a tackle for loss. His sack in the first half last night, his first playoff sack since 2015. Okay, then. And same old Aaron Donald. And Matthew Stafford, all he had to do was throw it 17 times. He was 13, 13 to 17 last night. Cooper Cup had a touchdown, and that was kind of a, an oh, by the way. And, and, and that is a complete throttling. Now, I know what people are thinking and saying, too, is how can you say this maybe about the Rams and measure that when it's the Arizona Cardinals doing their annual disappearing act at the end of the season? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.